Before we go too far, I'd like to mention a few things for your safety and comfort. There is no smoking on the tram or inside any studio buildings. Please remain seated whenever... In the first film, we had both time periods, 1950s and 1980s represented. For the 50s, there was a white gazebo out here in the center of the grass with pathways leading out in four directions. And then for the 1980s, we took out to the gazebo and all the grass and put it in parking lot. And then for the year 2015, in the second in the future movie, Filmmakers had to use their imaginations because we don't know yet what 2015 is going to be like. ¿Cuál es el doctor T? El Mr. T, esa, esa es. Ajá. Y está el ¿verdad? Los carros usados en la película de Regreso al Futuro. Y era el shopping cart. And a huge telephone, all of these from the incredible shrinking woman starring the Well, we're going to take you now into Bedrock, the home of the Flintstones and the Rubbles. On the driver's side, we have the playground that Bam Bam and Pebbles played together in. That's in the front yard of the home of Betty and Barney Rubble. From the Flintstones movie that starred John Goodman, Rick Moranis, and Rosie O'Donnell, who's doing very well these days with her own TV talk show on NBC. And most of the vehicles around us actually have motors in them, but they're the hidden to where you can't see them. Esto es lo que usaron en la película Waterworld, ¿verdad? Es from Waterworld, the action adventure film starring Kevin Costner, which inspired our Waterworld Sea War spectacular. Then from the television series, the Disney, we have a yellow submarine. And this is the end of this Flintstones theme song for Dino Solo. Here you go. Studios. We created the rain by 
putting sprinklers up in trees and over tops of the sides to shoot water up in the air so it falls down naturally like rain. But a flash flood effect, we keep thousands of gallons of recycled water and tanks up on the hill, and we can just open the gate to create a flood. Uh -huh. This type of effect is used in the movie The River, which starred Mel Gibson and Sissy Spacek with that tree. It just popped right back up into place. You know, that tree is made out of a very special kind of wood that's only available in this part. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? Then he know talking's my job. You can stand up to watch if you're not afraid of getting shot. from the McHale's Navy television series. Now there's been a rumor going around that the McHale's Navy crew left some underwater mines in the Pacific Ocean. Oh, and one of them just went off. The hey, others might be ready to go off soon too, so stay prepared for that possibility. Well, they went ahead and part of the Red Sea and left it open for us to go on across. Now on my side, well, another underwater mine. On my side of the trail, you can see a few ducks swimming around over here. Some of them are stunt ducks. If you watch them closely, you see them. They do kind of interesting things. I guess that one's not one of the stunt ducks. I've been getting paid extra today. Man, about a thousand faces. Every universal monster has appeared here in this world sometime. Monsters like Dracula. Frankenstein, the hunchback of Notre Dame, the wolf man, the mummy, and look, over there in that archway, it's him, it's the invisible man. <laughs> Did you get a picture of him? He's posing with Casper there. They're looking very festive today in their uh, Christmas outfits too. You know, I've had people tell me that Elvis sings out here sometimes too, but I've never seen him myself. But if you do, please let me know. Now our monsters are very... That went over so well that Abbott and Costello went on to meet all the other universal monsters. Abbott and Costello were a comedy team that had perfect timing. They blended quite well together and they did several movies together and they even went on to have their own. And that family would get in all kinds of scrapes but they eventually get out of stuff. And, uh, I was wondering if there's anybody on the board who's willing to admit that they're old enough to remember the characters played by Marjorie. Yeah, that's right. You don't look that old. I'm not going to look at her and say, cae el avión destrozado, <laughs> ya well, I remember the too. Well, I know I have some gray hairs, but uh, I'm not ancient yet. Yes, Ma and Pa Kettle. If you have never seen Ma and Pa Kettle movie, they're available on video. So you might want to go to your video store and rent some of those. Or up those stairs, although there's not really... Don't worry, folks. Just one of our little California aftershocks. These happen every now and then around here. It's Uh-oh. Maybe it's more than that this time. Hang on. Don't leave your seats for any reason. Oh, no. Look right there on the driver's side. The street is falling for the bomb. On my side, the side half is buckling up. 
Vale el tren. like a shark and it's headed toward George. Oh my goodness, I gotta get George out of there. Hey George! George, get out of the water quick! Swim for your life! There's a shark! Oh, George! Yeah. Oh, poor George. He never would listen to a woman. Well, we've had a crew that's been trying to catch the shark. And they put bait on that yellow buoy out there in the center of the lake. We're hoping the shark will take the bait. Look, the shark's taking the bait. Hey, go in, he's taking the dock, too. The shark's right behind me, look out! Find you, you'll see that our uh, shark is the only one the alone that can do the backstroke. Hello, player. And if any of you tender-hearted folks were really chicken again, they say you can't keep a good man down. Also across the lake, you have a great view of Cabin Cove, the home of Jessica Fletcher, played by Angela Lansbury in the Burger She Wrote. This was a terrific final season for Burger She Wrote, but if you're an ant, we also film that movie in five of our sound stages and other locations in Northern California. Up on the hill ahead of us, this house is the set for the TV talk show, Home and Family, the Family Channel. And these horse trailers around here belong to the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. They come here to ride their horses on our hills every now and then. On my side of the tram, this large backdrop was built for Jaws the Revenge, also used for the splashdown scenes of Ron Howard's Apollo 13. This large log cabin is where Dan Aykroyd and John Candy went on vacation in the great outdoors. We also used that large backdrop for two movies that Pierce Brosnan, that, that lava seepage is sure sign of an, an impending eruption. Well, maybe if we go on this mine shaft, we'll be safe from any trouble. Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we're headed right into the heart of a lava flow. If you start to get a little dizzy in here, you can just close your eyes. It's hot. It's dark. It reminds me of a place that I've only read about and where I hope never to go, if you know what I mean. It even smells like it's burning, doesn't it? 